Welcome back to the Gapster channel. I'm Gabby. I'm going to talk today about the OPA 861 by EN Canada. It's a critical component that's going to convert current into voltage and it's going to go right after the output stage of your DAC. And this is where you're going to feed your preamplifier or amplifier to get that really, really good sound. Test the board properly. I'm using a power supply by in Canada using uh, UC Pure boards and some giant ultra capacitors. I did an earlier video about these and how to assemble the ultra capacitors with the UC Pures, and uh, I'll put the link in the card above and also in the description below. I can easily say this is the best low noise power supply you can get today. Also, to make it a blind test, I decided to use a multiple relay by Sonoff. It's, it's a very inexpensive device uh, you can buy. I put a link for you guys uh, below. It has four relays and uh, you can trigger those by using your app from a distance. This way there's no impedance interference between the two options. The other option is using transformers by four transformers by Ivan. And these are one of the best transformers. These are the large ones. They're really top-notch transformers. And uh, this way I can switch between one and the other and compare the sound. I'll be using my DAC, the Gapster D11. I'll be using a preamplifier by Macintosh, the C1100. This is top of the line of uh, uh, Macintosh preamplifiers coming in two units. And for amplifier, we'll be using the Luxman M900U, another top-notch amplifier. And for speakers, my DIY GS11 speakers, I'll put a link below of all these, uh, all these parts. So why is this board so great and important? Because uh, the OPA 861 is like a super transistor, has very pure sound. It's very comparable to a linear transformer type sound, but it has a dynamic range that the transformers are lacking off. Also, it has a very low impedance, like 10 ohms, almost like a short circuit. It has a zero feedback, and that's important to, to not color the sound. So it has really lots of great characteristics. So how does it sound? For those of you who don't want to stick around for a long time, I want to know exactly uh, what's the conclusion here. I'm going to spill the beans right at right front. But I will be putting a couple uh, recordings a one with the OPA 861 uh, board and one with uh, Ivan transformers. And these are two top-notch products. And uh, we're trying to see the differences. How does it sound? I was, first thing I did is I did not listen to it. I wanted to break the board in. So I let it run for a few days straight and also need to break, break in, I mean, the uh, big ultra uh, capacitors and the UC board and all that stuff, all the resistors. So I let it run for a few days and then I listened to it. I was very, very impressed. The sound was very clear, crystal clear, not to a point like it's annoying. It's just beautiful sound. Uh, it was extremely like the transformer sound. I was really blown away. I, I was expecting it to be uh, less or way more, like a different, complete, quite a big of a difference, but I did not see uh, or hear a, a big difference in sound, and I was quite uh, shocked by that. So uh, Ian mentions in his... Uh, in the document, and I encourage the uh, encourage you guys to to read the document. I'll put a link for it down below. Uh, he mentioned that the sound is very like a passive transformer sound, and it is true. Uh, it's very very true. 
and uh, so I also but it was very hard for me to figure out which one is better which one I like more and do I see differences because when you listen to them one and then you reconnect thing and then you, know, you lose that momentum you need to be able to listen to them boom boom so I put that relay uh, device by Sonoff I'll put a link for that below and I was able to by a click of a button move from one to the other while sitting on my couch and um, also I uh, borrowed some uh, other ears younger ears and other uh, people that are more audiophiles and to to be able to listen to, to the two and it was hard to, to hear a big difference between the two and that's a very good thing because uh, when you use uh, one of those active boards there's always a sense that you're losing the quality and the purity of the sound not really here it was all preserved um, and it was the dynamics were were maybe a tad bit better uh, and that's the more I listened to it the more I can could hear that and uh, I was very happy uh, with that you also uh, don't need to use like the uh, super duper ultra capacitor system to run it. I actually tried it with uh, a double uh, linear Pi and, uh, and it worked really good. Uh, pretty much almost the same, uh, maybe tiny, tiny difference, but with the addition of the, the, the UC Mate conditioner or one of those uh, ultra capacitors on top, it uh, it was pretty much the same to my ears. If these topics interest you and you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider helping me out and subscribing. It will make it easier for me to keep uh, spending all the time and energy and money on on sourcing out products and uh, and creating videos like that. So for those of you who want to stick around and hear a little bit more details, I'm going to run a couple uh, sound clips, uh, one with uh, the uh, OPA 861, one with the Ivan Transformer. And again, by all means, this is not we're trying to compare two things. These are apple and oranges, but it just gives you some idea of uh, what, what sound uh, you like better. And... Uh, it's always hard to buy microphones to hear those things because there's a lot of the sense of air and imaging. This is something is lost with the YouTube, but at least it'll give you some ideas uh, what the two sound like. But if you guys could see differences, please comment below. I would like to hear uh, your opinion on, on that. Stuck 
I hope you guys liked this video. If you'd like to hear more about the Gapster D11 DAC that I built, it's a DIY DAC. I'll put a link for it here in this corner. And if you'd like to hear about my DIY GS11 speakers, I'll put a link in this corner up here. And if you'd like to subscribe, I'll put a little speaker icon on the bottom. I hope you guys do that and uh, hope to see you again. Take care.